Hey, this is Rick Riker bringing you another awesome Rock on the Range moment. We're dealing. Newber from 99.7 The Blitz, backstage Rock on the Range 2015. Phil, Allen, and Aaron of Mice and Men. I feel bad for bringing you guys here. Does it suck, to, I mean, to go do the press tour after you kick ass on the Monster Energy main stage and then Hell have no. to... You just you love the You love the process. A band, a band like us never thought we'd ever be on the radio, so to be invited to do right. a radio interview, you're crazy. This is awesome. Cool. That's awesome, man. I want to talk about your new, uh, your new single, Never Giving Up. We're playing it on the Blitz, and we have this thing. It's our top 10, top 10 all-out Blitz. Wow. We do it, by the way, we do it Wednesdays at 11 a.m. for a new edition, Tune Wednesdays. In. Wednesdays. All brought to you by Mickey's Bar and Grill in Lancaster. Stand by for fuel and I don't know the rest of them. Anyway, but um, it usually takes a while for a song to catch on and really catch some gravity. Listeners have to be exposed to it for a while. Never Giving Up, we played it on the Blitz. A week later, it makes its debut on the Countdown. It's a radio hit straight up and down. Do you write it that way or is it just one of those things that... It just comes to fruition as your recordings, like, and you step back and you're like, wow, this is perfect for radio. I mean, honestly, like, like, like I, like I literally just said, we never thought we'd ever be on radio. You right. Know, for us, it was more about, you know, songwriting, catered towards the songs that made us fall in love with music in the first place. Bands like Chevelle, Lincoln Park, Deftones, Tool, like, kind of that whole vibe. Um, and you know, we kind of wanted to throw our hat in the ring and see, you know, if if of mice and men could write a song like that, and we did, and it was. It's pretty different from the other stuff we've done, but we were all super happy with it, and now, that's crazy. <laughs> now that you've done it, I mean, do you, do you take that information moving forward when you go for your next, write your next album, and be like, guys, we nailed this to the wall last time, let's do it again? Or do you just kind of like say, hey, you know what, well, let's see what kind of mood we're in and see what I, sticks? I think so, but I think it's important to not let that get to your head. Right. You don't want to start try to writing music just catered for radio and stuff like that, sure. and you just lose your substance as a band because you don't write about how you like your emotions or things like that you just are trying to cater to what people want to hear and that's not kind of what we're about so. uh-huh yeah so I, th I think you know for us uh you know we'll definitely take what we've learned from it especially mm -hmm. playing it live and like seeing what works mm -hmm. what doesn't work you know the fact that it's been massively successful at radio is awesome um but you know we don't like to put ourselves in a box so we definitely won't write another never giving up but it'll be good right absolutely um, I want to talk about the band's name of all things. I know you guys probably get get hit on this a lot. Um, from the Steinbeck novel, Of Mice and Men, the best laid plan of Mice and Men often falter. Not really an optimistic name for a band, you know? Is that just part of the... I mean, is that just... Was that looked at when you guys were coming up with a name, or was it just like, we like this, we're going to go with it, you know? Was it look like, eh, well, maybe this isn't the most, again, optimistic name for a yeah. band? You know, you know what, like, part of that quote is the best laid plans of Mice and Men often go awry. You know, like, Phil and I came from bands. Tino and Austin came from sure. bands. Uh, even Alan, like, you know, we all came from bands that had things going for us, that had deals, that went on tour, that did things. And that was, for us, our best laid plans, you know. Um, and obviously, you know, none of that worked out, and it led to this. Um, so I think as much as it might not be optimistic, uh, you know, to kind of flip side it, 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 it's almost hopeful, you know, because I think if you keep that in mind, then, you know, it, it's something to always keep in the back of your head. Phil, Allen, and Aaron, the guys of, of Mice and Men, hey, I know you guys are tired and go back and take a nap. Now, I appreciate you guys stopping by, never hey, giving up. We appreciate you having us. And it's on 99.7 The Blitz, on the top 10 all-out blitz, so uh, I don't think it's going anywhere for a while, so thanks for swinging by and talking That's with awesome. me for That's awesome. Hopefully a it makes a number one.